Meanwhile, a massive campaign supporting the case for Gatwick has been running for the past few years. The head of Gatwick says a second runway there is the best option because previous attempts to expand Heathrow have repeatedly failed. Let's get more from Leanne Rinney, who's at Gatwick this evening. Leanne. Well, you'll remember, of course, back in 2010 that a group of campaigners came together and successfully challenged the government's plans to build a third runway at Heathrow in the High Court, with the judge agreeing that it was at odds with the government's climate change targets. Now, tonight, Gatwick say they don't want another false start for Britain. They say building a second runway here at Gatwick would be much more environmentally friendly. Now, just today, the chairman of Gatwick, Sir Roy McNulty, has said that people can be confident that air quality around Gatwick will be legal. Uh, but there's still strong opposition to Gatwick expansion from environmental groups, despite the airport's promises. Yes, that's right. Just last month, a dozen or so campaign groups wrote to the Prime Minister, those were from Surrey and Sussex, writing to Theresa May, saying that they would consider legal action if Gatwick expansion goes ahead. Of course, that would push back, that would push back construction, possibly. But that is a minor problem for Gatwick bosses here tonight, considering what impact the government's decision could have tomorrow. Leanne Rooney from Gatwick, thank you.